Hi guys, right, tonight I'm at the Broadfield Stadium here at Crawley to see two League Two sides fight it out for a place in the quarter-final of the League Cup. Just soak that in a minute. A team from Division 4 will be in the last eight of a domestic trophy. I can't wait for it, and to be honest, I like both sides, so all I will say is I hope everyone enjoys their evening and may the best team win. Right, hi guys, I'm standing here with Phil, who's a Colchester United fan. And Phil, this is a pretty historic occasion, really, because you could get into the quarter-final of a League Cup if you win against a fellow Division 4 side tonight. No, exactly. So it's a great, it's a great achievement for both teams to get this far in the competition. I think we've got a great chance to go tonight. Uh, Broadwood Stadium is not the best hunting ground for Colchester. So we've only won once since uh, Crawley's come into League Two. Lost so it earlier this season as well. And we you? lost earlier this season, uh, but beat them once two 0 uh, well, a few years ago. So I think we can hopefully the cop's the cop. Our record in the cop has been fantastic. We beat Swindon three 0 we beat Crystal Palace in penalties, we beat Tottenham in penalties. We can keep that form going into this cup competition at this level, get us into the quarter-finals, and who knows, I would like actually to have Oxford or Sunderland at home in the next round, hopefully, because then the, we can hopefully then pick out one of the Premier League teams again in the semi-final home and away, and I think uh, we have a great chance of getting to the final, because who knows, if we can hold on, we can get into penalty kicks and, and produce something. Any particular player tonight that we should look out for? Ben Stevenson. Ben Steven has this extra bit of class. Um, he came on on Saturday. Well, he actually played. He started Saturday first time for a few games. He's been injured for quite a long time. He actually came on, sat, uh, played Saturday, and he's got a fantastic goal. And to be honest, uh, two one ahead. So I have a have a funny feeling either him or Courtney Senior, who's been fantastic for him, who can on his day uh, just produce that bit of moment of magic to uh, to turn the game. And also, of course, at set pieces, uh, we have. We have some some fantastic options. We've got a fantastic uh, ball thrower from the um, uh, from the uh, from the byline who can who can put balls in for it. Gives us an extra option in set pieces. Um, his name is Ryan Jackson, who's a fantastic what player. He is. <coughs> he's outstanding. been outstanding yeah. this season yeah. again. He was yeah. great last season, great this season. He was great last season and this season. And on Saturday, he was my man in the match. I thought yeah. he was outstanding. Some of his and he yeah. scored, of course, as well. To come into this as well after beating a Newport side that I've watched <coughs> this season. That's he right. Swindon quite easily and, and good teams quite easily. It's, uh, it's a exactly. Well, good Newport. Way to come in. Well, exactly. Well, Newport's only lost one game prior to playing yeah. us, sort of thing. And we they don't concede many either. And they don't concede. So we scored three goals, three fantastic goals. They came back from one 0 down. Yeah. Ben Stevens has scored a fantastic goal. So Ben Stevenson and Courtney Senior are two players. This and they can just turn on the class and just that moment of magic turn the game in our favour tonight. My last We've got eighteen hundred fans behind us tonight. Yeah, you're going to say. I was going to say. Sold yeah, out. it's a fantastic. It's a fantastic turnout. There's going to be a red hot atmosphere. There's 1,800 Colchester fans in here going to be screaming their heads off for Colchester tonight. We will do this tonight. Right, hi guys. I found a very enthusiastic Crawley fan called Kieran. Kieran, I'm just going to ask you quickly what you think the score will be tonight. 3-1 uh, to Crawley tonight. 3-1 to Crawley. Yeah. How do you think your team have done? You've done so well. You beat Norwich and Stoke to get here. Have you been to those games? Yes, I have. And it's been really good and it really excited. Show us your trophy. Go on. Yeah, see so we get that shot. Hey. Yeah. yeah, and we're going to win tonight against Colchester. Colchester tonight, and also we might get Liverpool in the, in, in the next round. Liverpool in the next round. I hope yeah. so. Well, thank you, and very good luck to you. Yeah, thank you so much. Right, hi guys. I'm here with Harley, Holly, and Charlie. Is that the right order? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's right. Hey, I did it. I got the names right. Right. So we're here before the big game between uh, Crawley and Colchester. What are you feeling, guys? Let's start with you, sir. Uh, it's toughy, I reckon. I don't think there's gonna be much in it at all. Yeah. Um, we have had a couple of bad games recently, but we get a match Norwich system, and Stoke, you know, it's gonna be pretty tight, I think. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about it as well? It's gonna be a bit scrappy, I think. But yeah. I think we'll do it. I think we'll go through. A bit nervy. Yeah, a little bit nervy, but nervy. I think we'll go through the quarterfinals. It's our year. It's our year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two one Crawley. Easy game. Two 0 up. Let one in. But yeah, no, we'll go through quarters. It's gonna be a great night. It's sat out here. Is this the biggest crowd you guys have had? Do you think um, at this stadium? No, I'd say Norwich game. The Norwich game was absolutely. Yeah, yeah Norwich Stoke. Nice. I mean, this this Norwich Stoke. This one as well. So all, all quite big. So. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the biggest I've seen. So, so you reckon two one Cordy, what's your prediction? I am thinking a, a one all and a and a penalties. All one all penalties? Oh nil nil to penalties, five four Crawley. Oh, come on Crawley. Come on you reds. Right, I'm standing here with Colchester fan Sam, just about to go into the what sounds like a rocking away in. Eighteen hundred of you boys down here tonight for this one. 
Big question though, how do you think we'll do? I think we'll get through okay, you know. Um, we've picked up one league bit recently. I think the momentum of previous cup wins and helped us against Crawley. They lost 4 0 at the weekend. So, yeah, I think we'll get through. Score prediction? Let's say 2 1. 2 1 to us. And the key men for your team tonight? I think Frank Duble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you just want to set, I'm just going to set the scene here. There's a there's a rabble. Hey! Hey! Good luck tonight. Thank you very much Cheers, for speaking to me. Cheers, guys. Right here I am, all in situ, ready for kickoff, and away we go. The game is underway. Crawley versus Colchester for a place in the quarterfinal of the League Cup. A couple of minutes gone here. Really good start by Crawley, keeping uh, Colchester pinned back in their own half for the opening few, uh, few minutes of this game. No real clear-cut chance yet, but so far very impressive. to Crawley, Reese Greg Cox benefits from a miscommunication between Courtney Senior and Luke Norris on this right hand side, Crawley broke away and Reese Greg Cox I have to say you can't hit a, a football truer than that, bullet into the top right corner, fantastic goal, 1-0 to Crawley, I'd say about 11 minutes gone, I have no idea but it's about 11 minutes gone I think here and uh, yeah 1-0, great stuff. last very long it's 1-1 uh, cross coming in from the left hand side Luke Norris with a bullet header back across Leia Mulling the goal 1-1 and I haven't seen an instant response quite as quick as that I don't think in my time this season uh, but it's 1-1 you can hear the Colchester fans right up for this what a cup tie so far can't complain game still being played at quite a frenetic pace at the moment but I have to say Colchester are the team on top right now Crawley can't seem to get the ball down. They're not playing it with the same panache they were in the opening sort of five, six minutes. A little bit nervy, I think. And to be honest, if they carry on playing like this, they're going to be in trouble because Colchester are a very good side when they want to be. So at the moment, though, it's still 1 1. Right, guys, it's half time here at the People's Pension Stadium. 1 1. I have to say, it's been a pretty even game, actually, to be fair. Crawley started the better team, but because they took the lead so and were so quickly pegged back, it kind of took the wind out of their sails and they haven't really recovered. Colchester have been on the front foot for most of this last sort of 20 minutes of the first half. It's going to be interesting to see how they come out in the second because I think Crawley need to change something if they're going to get something out of the game. Very impressed with a few of the players on display. Bessel Barla looks very good. Hasn't had much of the ball though for the last 20 minutes as I said. Cohen Bramble got to be the quickest footballer on earth. I mean he's, he's racing down the left hand side. Gave Reese Gregor Cox a real run for his money. Uh, when they were in a chase for the ball. But at the moment, yeah, 1-1, one, one, a really good cup tie. Colchester free kick has just hit the bar and come back and hit Leon Bula on the back of the head and gone in very unfortunate for the goalkeeper really nothing he could do about it and Colchester made a good start to this second half they probably just about deserve that it's 2-1 to Colchester here at the People's Pension Stadium still 2-1 here to Colchester and they are on top at the moment they could have made it 3-1 Courtney Senior blazing a good chance over the crossbar Colchester really uh, you know, really good on the ball, really good simple passing moves are causing Crawley a lot of problems, but Crawley just can't get it going at the moment. Ball played into the box. It might be a corner. Yeah, Goal kick given. Uh, yeah. But at the moment, yeah, it does not look like Crawley will get back into it as it stands. Ollie Palmer is on. He's had little effect and little of the ball so far. And as it stands, Colchester will be going through to the next round of the cup. Heading into the final 15 minutes or so here, still 2-1 to Colchester. Probably just about deserve their lead, though Crawley are starting to ask a few questions, though they can't quite create that golden opportunity. As it stands, it's still 2-1 Colchester.
3 1 at Colchester. Uh, ben Stevenson has broken free to score the goal. Nice set up play by Frank Newbell, laid it off, played into Courtney Senior, laid it out wide. Jackson's ball in was taken up well by Ben Stevenson, and he turned beautifully and thumped the ball past Leon Buller in the goal. 3 1. I have to say, they've probably been the better team, they deserve it. Crawley just haven't asked enough questions this evening of their opponents, and as it stands, it is 3 1 at Colchester. And despite Crawley's cup dream being such a big part of their season, it does look like it's about to come to an end. It, look like, it looks like Crawley's cup dream is coming to an end here. Colchester leading 3-1 as we're in the last of four minutes of stoppage time. 1,800 Colchester fans making a hell of a racket in the away end. They probably deserve to win as well, to be fair, on the performance tonight. They've looked very good. They've used their pace extremely well. Defended much better than they perhaps looked like they were going to for the opening 10 minutes or so. And in the end, it's been a comfortable win for Colchester. 3-1. Gabby, unlucky tonight. It was a good start, but you just didn't keep the foot on the gas, and in the end, Colchester probably deserved that win. Yeah, honestly, yes. They deserved the, the win. If you think that you score it, and after 30 seconds you suffered the equaliser, probably we have to think that we have been a bit naive. Mm. Then unlucky in the 2 1 because crossbar and back of the keeper. Yeah. And then it's uphill and the game. They scored the third one uh, in probably in our best moment. They have to back on track in the league, 50 points. People have been making um, a sort of an issue of the games that you've played. You haven't won for a while, but you've played a very tough group of teams. If you look at the, di the division, you've played Newport, Forest Green, you've played Bradford. Yeah. It's important now, though, that you bounce back from this. Yeah, we have to. We have to, to work hard to, to back uh, on, our, on our way to play because it was on October, it's been in October where we considered a lot of goal. And then, honestly, if I look at September, August, we were in that kind of squad, no. so we have to uh, to improve, to back to the detail, to the basic, and think that we need point to be to be safe as soon as we can, and then uh, we build from there. One thing I would say though is fantastic for you to get this far. You've made history for this club, and despite the disappointment of tonight, you should take a huge amount of credit for that. I thank you, but the human being, human being in general, is never happy. So we are not happy. I appreciate what you said. I thank you. We know that we have done the history of the club, mm -hmm. but we were so close, uh, maybe to have a draw that could help financially the club. Yeah. So we are um, we are upset. We are uh, upset because we want to give uh, more joy to the to the entire city going through the fifth round. So it's a financial question. Is a um, it's about the dream, the dream we had. Sometimes there is a why that, at the moment, we can understand, and we are suffering for this why. Unlucky, but uh, lovely to see you get this far. And I'm, I know you're hurting right now, but it all. You've done a good job. I will heal. I will you heal. Yes. So I'm standing here with John McGrill, the uh, manager of Colchester United. Fantastic first league for you to get through to the next round of the cup quarterfinals for yeah. League Two club. And I think what I noticed today is you went behind, but you really did battle straight back into it. Yeah, we've been here a couple of times this season already, and even Saturday at Newport against Newport at home. Um, I've got to give Crawley credit, you know, especially the first 10 minutes. I thought they started like a house on fire. I thought, well, we're in for the, the game here. They caught us right on the hop. And, 
I thought then we were able to, to weather that storm. And then the, I thought then we grew in the game. We were, the, you know, I thought they scored against the runner play really, but an unbelievable strike by their boy. Um, but the big thing was how we reacted to that. We got a goal straight, straight away, away, straight yeah. away, and that's huge at times. And then we were able to again to get our game on the, you know, our foot on the ball. You know, um, very composed. That's the, that was the pleasing yeah. thing again. Um, it's a great habit. You know, we've done it a number of times now this season where we've got a goal behind and we just keep playing how we want to play. We keep the discipline, keep the belief mainly. Um, in a high pressure game, let's not get away from it. You know, you, both teams are looking to go into the quarterfinals of a major cup competition. So I've got to give my boys a ton of credit because, uh, you know, how they reacted to that was excellent. I thought it was, yeah. I'm an Oxford fan and I watched this yeah. uh, just a minute ago waiting on penalties. You probably won't want to play Oxford if you're honest, but who are you looking to get in the next round? Oh, the, 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 the boys will look for a big, big one. We all want the big ones because we're the Division Two, we're the lowest rank in 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 the cup now at this minute. Um, the chairman, I'm sure, will want a big one away from home course, to fill yeah. the coffers as he always do, as they always do. To be fair, so again, all I'm pleased is is that we've been able to get into the hat. And that was the main thing to get the club. We haven't been in this since 1974. I've been told. Yeah. So it's a fantastic achievement. Um, and it's now one where we can all look forward to the zoo. Yeah, congratulations. Thanks, you pal. Really deserve it. Appreciate it. So I'm walking away from the People's Pension Stadium tonight. It's finished 3-1 to Colchester. They are through to the quarter-final of the League Cup. They are the lowest ranking team left in it. I wish them all the best. They deserved it tonight. They were the better team, uh, apart from probably the first 10 minutes. And uh, I've just spoken to both managers. I have to say uh, they probably agree with the assessment there. So at the end of the day, Colchester go through. They deserve it. Their fans were brilliant. 1,800 of them turned up here on a Tuesday night. Uh, I'm off home because it's freezing cold and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. I'll catch you guys later.